Hey everyone, Bill Dentsmont here from Keller Williams Realty. We're live at Carver Fire Department. My uh, my new good friend, Assistant Deputy Chief oh. Jesse Boyle. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having Thanks us out so here much. today. We're, um, we're we're trying to offer some uh, information to the consumers out there to help out. Uh, we're in the month of December right now, and public safety is a big thing in the winter months. And and uh, Jesse's been nice enough to offer some uh, just some tips on on a couple of small things that you guys can do at home. Um, one of the first things I want to talk about was furnace and chimney mm -hmm. safety. Uh, what are some things that people could do with that? So, Bill, December is a really big time of the year for fire hazards. A lot of bad fires happen during this time of the year. And there's some, a lot of things that the residents and homeowners can do to keep themselves safe. We've already talked about smoke detectors. That's really only if a fire already happened. Let's talk about keeping fires from happening in the first place. Uh, regular oil burner furnace maintenance is super important. Uh, if an oil burner malfunctions, obviously it can cause a fire at, at worst, but even at best, it can fill your house with smoke, which can cause a lot of damage. So it's recommended that you have your oil burner serviced on a regular basis. Uh, beyond that, there's a lot of things that people can do that perhaps won't cost them money like an oil burner inspection would. Um, kitchen safety. Cooking fires. A lot of people are cooking a lot more this time of year. They have family over from Thanksgiving through Christmas. Um, never leave pans unattended on the stove. You keep your handles turned in on the stove so that you're not knocking anything over. Make sure that your stove is empty prior to turning it on. Maybe people that don't cook very often might store things inside their oven. Don't ever do that. But make sure that stove is completely empty before you turn it on. And just like with, with the furnace, uh, maintenance on your stove is important, too. To clean out the food inside the stove that may have spilled when you had that delicious meal that spilled all over the bottom of the stove. Right. I told my wife about that one. Do um, you see a lot of people keep fire extinguishers in the, in the kitchen? Or? Some people do. It's not required. Uh, I have them in my house, throughout the house. Certainly recommend that people have like, fire extinguishers, know where they are, and somebody needs to know how to use them as well. You guys heard that first. He has them in his kitchen. So, obviously, that tells you that he's... Uh, Paying attention for his family and doing what's best yeah. for them. So thank you for that. Sure. Um, any other things like Christmas trees? We always hear Christmas trees are a big one. And although fires related to Christmas trees overall are down, they still create a tremendous fire hazard. So you okay. can't stress enough how important it is to water them daily. All right. More and more people are switching to artificial trees, but a real tree still presents quite a fire hazard. So keep them watered. And just as importantly, make sure that the lights attached to the tree are in good working order, that they're not great. Totally inspect the lights prior to putting them on the tree. If there are any bulbs that are missing or broken that cannot go on the tree, they need to be replaced with normal lights. Um, extension cords. Extension cords and power outlets, the six strip power outlets that we see, uh, those are also prone to create a lot of fires. And we recommend not to use extension cords unless they're absolutely necessary. They're not ever to be used as a, as a permanent solution to something. Uh, extension cords are only designed to be something for temporary use. Okay, you heard it here first. Uh, what about space heaters? I know we, uh, we don't see them as much as we used to at one time. But, um, you know, tell us about, you know, if you're using your space heaters or what. But traditionally, space heaters are another cause of fire. Okay. You know, as, as we were talking off camera a few minutes ago about the older style space heater that really just looked like a toaster oven that was standing up right. right. And you'd come in for so sledding and, you know, you could throw your socks over them to dry them off. And, you know, that, that is a fire hazard. So those space heaters largely aren't sold anymore. Or they do have the type of mechanism that if they tip over, they turn off. But they're still out there. Uh, but what's out there now, what we see a lot of space heaters are the oil-filled space heaters that look like an old like cast iron radiator, but they're not. They're more modern appliances. Um, those space heaters still cause fire problems. Uh, we see people using them with extension cords. That's a big no-no. We see them plugged into power strips. That is an absolute no-no. You cannot do that. They require so much electricity to operate, they will overheat the circuitry inside that strip outlet and cause a fire from that perspective. So they must be plugged into a dedicated circuit. Guys, I hope that helps you out. We're trying to, uh, these guys' job is trying to, uh, in advance, keep the safety of the public down so uh, they don't have to uh, go on these calls. Uh, when they do have to go on the calls, they're there to help. Uh, so we appreciate you taking your Absolutely. time here today, Jesse. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, Merry Christmas to you. Thanks. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, guys.